Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I turn this sequence pillow like this. And we're starting right now. Hey, so how's everybody doing today? I'm Arasis from Garment Creations, and on this channel, you get tips and tricks to amplify your t-shirt business. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I will also appreciate it if you can join our Facebook group. It's called Fire Up The Heat Press. That's Fire Up The Heat Press on Facebook. On that group, you can post your work, ask questions, talk about all types of heat printing technology. It's dope. Get over there. Let's get to the video. So the first thing we have to do is get our artwork ready. I already printed it out on our ASAP paper. We're gonna have to get it together because I printed it in two pieces. All right, so we gotta patch it together so it's actually one piece. And then we gotta do some things on the sequence pillow, making sure that everything is laying down on the white part. So I'm gonna jump over here to the table and we're gonna make sure everything's situated. So we got our pillow here. After I've taken all of the cotton out of there, or the cushion, whatever that is, cotton, I'm pretty sure it's cotton. So I got this thing all flattened out. But the most, the important part here, I wanna make sure everything is laying on the white side, because you actually only wanna sublimate on the white side. The silver side, eh, could be a little wacky. So you wanna make sure you have no silver sticking out, at least for the parts where your design is gonna be covered at. So I see one over here. I'm just taking, you can use your finger, whatever the case is. But right now I'm using a pick or a tweezers. I'm just gonna flip this silver part over. This one here. I'm gonna flip that over. I think I'm pretty satisfied now with this thing. Everything looks like all the silver is all out and we only see the white for the most part. So we have to get our artwork ready by taping everything together. We're gonna put some heat tape on there just to make this one image. Okay, so I'm gonna use some heat tape here just to line my image up here. And to do that, I'm gonna try to match it, match the corners here. I have another piece of paper on the back so my image don't get messed up or anything. So for the most part, I think we're good right here. I'm gonna put the tape long ways just to cover more, to have more coverage. And then I'll do the same thing on this side, making sure I'm at the very edge of the image. Then we can use a couple more pieces of tape here. I thought I had a few more pieces of tape up here. I need to get me a tape gun whatever it's called tape gun tape dispenser okay so it's our image it's all reversed we're gonna line this thing up like anything else I'm gonna do a little pre-press just to make sure we get all the law unnecessary is out of there. All right, so I'm gonna make sure it's nice and straight. I'm just gonna grab my ruler, measure it, making sure that it's, everything is centered because this one is actually for my wife, but this is all practice. You wanna always practice and make sure everything is good. Grab a piece of heat tape. I have the adhesive spray here. But then I've never used it, so I'm still a little scared to use it. So it's going to sit right there until I'm ready. Put some tape on the sides. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to get me a heat, a tape dispenser real soon. All right. So I've heard that this thing is not gonna bleed on the other side, so I'm not gonna worry about putting anything on the inside of it. I'm just gonna cover it, just to protect my press. Protect my press a little bit.
Okay, so protected, it's ready to go. I'm actually pressing at 75 seconds, okay, for 400 degrees. But if you're finding value in this video, go ahead and smash the like button. You know what it is. Let's go. There it is. Let's remove that. Ooh, it's looking nice already. This paper is still good. So we're gonna save that. This parchment paper, it's still good. Now, we're going to just reveal the beauty of this thing right here. Look at it. And you know your boy gotta have the phone for Instagram. I'm gonna be careful. I don't wanna lift the sequence while I take this tape off. So, taking my time here. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Hey, let me bring y'all closer. I don't think you can see it. Look at that. It's beautiful. Besides, she beautiful. She's banging. But the, the 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 color on this thing is it's so vibrant. It's nice and bright. I'm not gonna flip the sequence, not yet. But look at it. Look how well that thing came out. It's nice and bright. Colors are good. It's all from Cosmo Inks. So now we're over here at the heat press. I'm going to attempt to use the adhesive spray. And this is the one I got from Michaels the other day. I got my trash can ready because I see most people do this with like a trash can or something. So we're going to try to spray this on top of the trash can. Ooh. Oh, this thing's not spraying right. <laughs> it's not spraying right. All right, that's about that. It it, it got a little messy. I hope that don't mess up my image. Like, what is that? Ugh. No. I feel like that's gonna mess up my it's gonna mess up the whole thing. That's why I like my heat tape. But anyways, let's go ahead and load up. Making sure we're right side up. Now because this is gonna be like a full bleed image, my goal here is to Get it nice and centered. This is the image. Go just to get it on there. It's already sticking to it. Okay, stuck on there nicely and got my fingers a little tough. But if you're finding value in this video, go ahead and smash the like button. You know what it is. Let's go. Let's cover it with our cover sheets. I feel like I need to move this down. I have to do it this way. Nope. So I'm trying to avoid using multiple sheets here, but it's not looking too good. 
I have another one right here. I'm going to use going down this way. Okay, so now we're just going to press it for the same time, 600. I'm sorry, we're, we're just going to press it for 400 seconds. So now we're just going to press it at 400 degrees, 75 seconds. Matter of fact, I think we're going to have to do this in multiple pieces to get the right type of, um, the right coverage. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. I'm going to move this down. Because I want everything covered. Alright, so we're going to do just that half. And then we'll move it up and do the next half. Okay, now that it's done, we're just going to shift the whole thing up so that the bottom portion is on the press. It's looking good already. Looking good already. We're going to keep the transfer sheet up there. Again, just to still keep our stuff protected. And we'll do that for the next couple seconds. So when that comes up, all we have to do is just stuff it, put the, put the cushions back in there, and you can see exactly how that thing comes out. All right, it's up. Let's see what we got. Our paper, it's got stain, which is cool. Look at the adhesive, it's gonna mess up my image. I'm kinda upset that I used the adhesive now. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna leave it right there for now. I'm gonna take it off the press. It's hot. Take it off the press and bring it over here and take that off. So now it's time for that reveal. Ooh. Looking good. That adhesive got it stuck to there though. Ugh. That adhesive is tough. That's some tough adhesive. I may have sprayed too much. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Looks like that extra bond. And it messed up my image up here a little bit, a little bit. But it seemed like I can scratch that off. Peel that off. Yeah. The adhesive is good, it worked out, but then I may have just used too much to a point where it messed up the image a little bit. Let me show you up close. So this is the close up of it. You can see all the spots where the adhesive messed up the image at. But most of all, I believe this came out great. Besides the oops there. Ain't she beautiful? Ooh. Came out nice. So that came out super dope. Next part, I just gotta stuff it with all this, this cushion in there and then we'll get the real reveal of what it looks like all stuffed up. Stay tuned. Remember, if you find any value to this video, smash the like button. Let's go. Now our next step is to get all of this into that pillow. It's gonna be a while, but stay tuned. Don't miss it, it's gonna be dope. Oh man, I can't believe how amazing this thing turned out. 
my goodness, look at it. Ooh, it's beautiful, right? You ready for the fit? Let's do the back. Look at that. We do have a little bit of issues here with the adhesive. Like I showed y'all earlier, the adhesive was all over. That's it. All right. Turned out pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay. I just got to get her now to close this back up. She's going to stitch this back up with the sewing machine over there. But all in all, I believe this project came out super dope. This, the pillow itself I got from uh, Michaels. I paid, I guess I paid like seven bucks for this pillow. But an item like this is going to sell for at least like 45, 50 bucks. Okay, let me know in the comments how much do you sell your pillows for? Like I got to say I'm not going to really mess with the with the um the thing over here, but just by like my finger running through, just by running my finger through, you can see it. So, I appreciate y'all for watching another dope tutorial. Make sure you smash the like button, share it with somebody, and I'll see you in the Facebook group, Fire Up The Heat Press. Until next time, leave a comment down below. Let's talk about something, you know? I'm out.